Hi everybody, so, so, so sorry for the big huge delay in posting another reading but I've got two children and they are my whole world. So they have come first this week, I've got, I've literally got a, my son leaving nursery, going into primary school, infant school, junior school, however you, however you know it. And then I have a daughter who is leaving primary school and heading into high school. So I've had so many graduations, proms, leavers parties, assemblies, maths, so many things to attend. So I'm so sorry guys. And obviously I have work too. So, um, but here I am. Thank you so much for your patience. I really do love you all. Um, I appreciate you being patient with me. I've lost a couple of subscribers, but you know, kind of expected. But let's hope I get them back. So, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Kelsey, this is Empress of Energy, and I'm ready to jump into doing a reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, guys, guys, guys. I see, um, I see, see a few things in your energy, to be honest. Some of you have got a cancer. I'm very much stuck on you right now. I do see some mutual love as well for some. You know, um, so the energy that I'm reading, guys, is either yours or something that's, you, that you're connected to energetically. Flip the roles as you see fit. Being possible to connect with every single can uh, I was going to say cancer again then. A Capricorn in the world. So take what message is yours and leave the rest behind. Don't force it to fit. You're blocking someone. You block somebody. You've already blocked somebody. Could be a fire sign. Could be someone younger. So place Capricorn in your birth chart any way you like. So me, Rising Venus, you could find messages in here for you. Um, and cross watchers always welcome. Sorry, I don't want my dogs doing that. So let's see what we got. So I'm literally just doing this reading now before I have to go to work. So I am, you are always on my mind, guys. All my viewers, all my readings. I know I need to get them done. I just need to find the time. But life isn't always this hectic. So bear with me. So please do subscribe if you are new. Let's connect energies. Um, let's get messages from Capricorn. Wow, guys. If you don't fancy getting pregnant anytime soon, I would advise safe sex. One second, because I feel like my dog's going to take my charger off where it is and <laughs> got, knock my phone up on it. Honey! No, leave it. So girl. Okay, so near. Yeah, the Empress, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Well, the Empress represents fertility. She's the mother of the deck. No gender in tarot. We all sit in our divine masculine and feminine energies. So, but someone, someone could be coming telling you that someone's pregnant. Um, someone could also, that, does, that won't be for everybody, obviously. Oh, sorry, I hope you can't hear the, the dog. But someone's, you do, you know, another thing that, that I see quite a lot in Capricorn's energy is, Bonnie, sorry guys, that just, that's going to do my head in. Don't distract me. No. There's nothing under there for you. Okay. You'll go out. She's trying to get something from under the fridge, but there's nothing there. Yeah, so. I also feel like someone views you. I've said this before in your energy. Someone views you very, very, very highly. There's a lot of respect here. This could be someone that you've got children with. This could be a maternal figure or just a parental for some. Well, could we deal with the Pisces? Major Arcana, Major Arcana. Someone's looking at you differently, I feel. Someone's looking at something differently. Tell me more spirit, please. Someone's stressing. I, honestly, I feel like I could call your energy before I even get the cards. Um, someone's stressed over you. Someone knows exactly what you're worth. Maybe they didn't before. Don't know what this is about, but take it as it resonates, but that's what I'm getting. Tell me more, please. Capricorn's energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We'll find out more when we clarify. Tell me more, please. Okay. We've got the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. So, I feel like there was a time here. You could be the younger energy here for some, but I feel like for a time, there was you was trying with this person. I feel like you've really tried, or you have been trying. You may still want to keep trying. There's something that someone doesn't want to give up on, but I feel like it's already been offered. There's something already been offered. 
or it's being offered. Take your time and if it resonates. Timing is fluid in tarot, guys. Past is a minute ago and prior. Futures in a minute and beyond. So we're looking at the current, which is quite fluid in between all of that. You know, so. Wow. Leo energy. Strength. So there's something here that you have to have strength with, Capricorn. You've been told to have strength here. This, I feel like you could be exhausted right now. Someone could have left somebody because they were maybe drinking too much or a little bit selfish, greedy with something. So I feel like this is possibly someone that's already left. Yeah, look, five of pentacles, eight of cups. This is someone either being abandoned, someone abandoning you, someone walking away from you, you walking away from somebody because there were secrets. And this is someone that you found a lot of happiness in, I want to say. Let's clarify, let's jump in, let's get some more detail. If this is sounding like your message, please do let me know. I love hearing the comments, the feedback. I literally get around to reading them all and replying. So let me know. Um, let's clarify these energies. Ooh. Let's clarify this energy for Capricorn Spirit, please. There's just six of cups. I'm sure you get past energy in your readings a lot as well, Capricorn. But yeah, do some exploring, explore your birth chart, do some cross-watching. All my readings are timeless, so you find them when you're meant to. Um, oh, there you are. That's you, Capricorn. Someone. This could also be, I feel like there's a little bit of, there either is or there was, you was, a, you know, you wanted this person, is what I'm feeling. Either did or do. Ooh. For some of you, you are moving on from some kind of betrayal. There's a, Something's happened with this person here, guys, and it was either something very painful or, you know, an ending, a completion of something. There could have been a, a lot of betrayal going on. But you're moving on from this, is what I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles energy. It's slow forward movements to stability. You might feel like you're not getting very, you know, you're not getting anywhere fast right now, but you are moving. You are going. Tell me about this emphasis, please, for it. Capricorn's energy. Ooh. Yeah, guys, for so many of you, justice is being served here on how you are being viewed. Maybe even on how you are viewing yourself and how you are treating yourself. You know, I feel like there's been like some kind of empowerment. I feel like Capricorn has stepped into some kind of empowerment, um, which has given the Empress energy because she's, you know, she's the birth giver of everything. That doesn't have to be of babies. It's just, you know, she plants seeds, they grow, she births everything, she's creative, she's stunning, on another level stunning, she's the queen of queens, she is, she is it. So sorry if I look tired, I actually am tired. <laughs> oh, tell me more please about this empress. Tell me more, but justice is being served here. Could be dealing with a Libra. Strong Libra energy there actually, empress and justice. Double Libra. If anyone's got that in the birth chart or dealing with one. Wow. I actually love reading for Capricorns, you know. Sorry. Back in. Justice is being served on this, guys. Someone caused some kind of heartbreak, some kind of pain. Could have been a third party situation, three swords in the heart, you know. We have seen the ten of swords already, that's why I'm mentioning it. There could have been a betrayal here, most definitely. But somebody is like, so if there has been a betrayal, or I mean, there has been a painful ending, if not a betrayal. So something's come to an end and it wasn't easy. It wasn't nice for you. But you've used that to your advantage is what I'm getting. Big time. And someone is knowing this. Yeah, look, ten of swords again at the bottom of the deck. So there's something big, something big has gone on here. But I feel like, I feel like telling you not to, don't worry, don't you, I hope you're not, I hope this isn't you in this stress state, you know, worried, anxious, not sleeping very well. I don't feel like it's you, I'm not going to lie, I feel like it is someone you're connected to. But it could be, of course, it's only a general reading, but someone is stressing over this, what they've done, because there's a, like I say, there's like, whatever's happened has empowered you. And I love that for you. Yeah, they're now ready to come and defend themselves, I think. Seven of Wands. This is... This could also be you being very guarded and very protective of yourself and your heart, you know. But I'm feeling like it's someone here that there's been possibly a little bit of arguing with. Maybe even been more than one person. You know, someone's coming at someone here with a lot of 
you know, all these ones are pointing at one particular person and there's this one here at the end, at the back, batting them all away. So, I do, what I'm getting, I feel like someone's ready to come and defend themselves over the pain that they've caused because they're going through karma. There's some kind of justice being served, whether it's physical, literal or karmic. You know, something's going in your favour here, Capricorn. And I feel like it's bringing someone to you. Someone's learned a lesson. Someone's done some lesson learning. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Tell me about this hangman, please. But someone's viewing something different there. Someone's viewing you different there. Wow. Death. Oh. <gasps> Honestly, all this major arcana around you. Wow. So you could, we've got death and the magician. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Quite strong Scorpio energy. So there's been an end in here, most definitely. But I feel like some of you may have been previously. I feel like if you have been manifesting a rebirth of a situation with this person that I'm, that I'm connecting with, you're not doing that anymore. I feel like you may no longer want that. And maybe this person knows this and that's why they're stressing. Because this is not you. That's my blinds. The window's open. Honestly, I forget. I'm so sorry. Please don't click off the video. <laughs> I hope it's not too distracting. Give me one more for this hangman. But, you know, it's like epiphany moment. I feel like you possibly had some kind of wake-up call there where you're thinking, wow, I don't want this. You could have literally been manifesting this person to return. Or, because... I do strongly get that something's ended, something's over. But I feel like you could have been manifesting this person and now that's what's being viewed differently. And it's like, like those moments come on thinking, hang on a minute, I'm the Empress. I don't need that shit. I don't want that shit. One more. I'm going to try throwing nine of ones and ten of ones waiting to come out then. I'm going to put the ten back. But the nine of ones again. Double energy. So this has been very, very tiresome for you. I don't, I don't feel like this is you down here, but this is you here. So this process that you've been on, like look how, you know, he's, he's a bit defleated there, isn't he? He's bandaged, he's bruised, he's tired, he's, it's like a, anymore, and what I'm getting, it's like anymore, really? So something possibly has, has happened, maybe recently, or it's about to take the time as it resonates, where you've stopped this manifestation. This manifesting that you're doing with this magician energy, Whatever that may be, but I do feel like it's something to do with a rebirth of something that's ended here, some kind of transformation. Like, you've stopped that because it's too tiresome. It's too much. Far too much. And it drains you too much. It hurts you too much. So that's been viewed differently. And maybe now this person, maybe you've cut energetic connections. I'm sure this has been in the reading for you previously. So there's been like a, an energy tie, you know, an energy cut. There's no... Because, you, you know, you don't have to be with someone physically to have a connection with them. There's so much truth in energetic and spiritual connections. You know, in them times where if someone just pops into your head and you don't have a clue why, it's probably because they're thinking about you. I very strongly believe in that. You know, not everyone does and you don't have to. But this is what I'm feeling. If if this person has been, if you know, if this manifestation has been very strong on your part, I feel like you've stopped that now. And now this person is feeling that. So there could have been a very big element of, knowing that you was waiting or was you know waiting for a return or waiting waiting and wanting them there could have been a bit of an element of that and i feel like that stopped mm. so about this dinosaur please thank you yeah see someone knows someone doesn't feel you energetically anymore and that's why they're stressing and it's whether to come and tell you the truth the ace of swords someone knows that you're not fucking with them because they're a liar or there's something that they're holding back on or there's some kind of truth of the Ace of Swords here that they need to present to you and they are stressed and worried over it. Yeah, you've blocked them. Maybe they're worried about how they can do this because they are blocked. Hmm. But, you know, it's like, I feel like someone could want a, a fresh, honest start. But they're stressed on how to do that. <laughs> yeah, they... They are very worried that you're going to reject them. Very much so. They are stressing that you're going to do this. They are stressing that you're going to say, no oh, thanks, been there, done that. <laughs> They're worried. They're worried on how to communicate with you. They're worried about if they can communicate with you. They're worried on how they're going to tell you the truth over something. How they're going to be honest about something. That could just be about feelings, guys, you know. The, that ten of swords that we've seen, it doesn't have to be a physical betrayal. It can just be the feeling of such. But someone is really, really worried that you're going to say, no thanks. 
You keep that Ace of Cups. You don't want it. This could have been someone that's done that to you as well. Mm. Mm. One more for this nine of swords, please. Three of Cups waiting to pop out then. You really want to reconcile. Mm. One more, please, for this nine of swords. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, so for some of you as well, they've said some horrible things and they're stressed over that now because I don't feel like it's stuck to you anymore. Like, there could have been a very long period of time here where everything just stuck. What this person did, what this person said, it just stuck to you like glue, honestly. And, and I don't feel like it's in the nice way either. There's, there could have been many horrible things that this person said to you. And over time, guys, complexes are created. So I feel like there's a le an element of belief that you had from this person's harsh words so that's now i mean i don't feel like you're in that anymore because you're the empress now guys so you don't you know you don't i don't want to say there was insecurities but there could have been for some but there was something that you know someone could have just been on and on and on about one particular thing relentlessly and it kind of gets embedded don't it you know you hear something for so long you start to believe it and i feel like there's a little bit of potential of that happening here but now you've cut that and this person is stressed i can't stress that enough <laughs> They're stressed on how to come into you, when to come into you, if you're going to reject it, if you're even going to hear them out. They're worried about, maybe they're also worried about if you're going to tell them some harsh truths as well here, you know. Most definitely. Yeah, there's some kind of holding on. You could be holding on to this person, Capricorn, is what I'm feeling as well. Some of you, not all. Some of you are holding on, to, holding on to this person, coming back to start again. This, I feel like this was you, always possibly, like I said before, trying. You, you know, there's, there was a lot of trying here before there was no more. But the person, like, this person was just like Billy Big Bollocks, like, whilst you was doing, you know, whilst you was doing the trying, doing the fighting for, they wasn't interested, and now that you're no longer interested, they are worried over that. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles, please, Capricorn's Energy. But please do subscribe if these is make you know if these messages are making sense. I shot a few out what was there. Wow. The eight of pentacles, the ace of cups, the three of wands and the eight of wands. So, yeah, you tried, you tried for even some of you, right? You could have even you know tried to spice things up a bit in the romance way, in the sexual in the sexual aspect. It could have been you could have been real. I can't I don't know how to explain it other than you was really trying with this person. You really wanted this person. You didn't want this to be over. Um, but something happened where you just had to, you, you had to turn your back. You just did. And you're going to hear about this person. You're going to hear from this person, sorry. You are, we've got the eight of wands, communication. I'm pretty sure this comes out in every single one of your readings. So please do let me know if you do hear from these people that you're connecting with. So I'd love to know. Um, but you're going to hear from them again. They're not, they've not left. For some of you, they are going to come in with some kind of offer. Maybe small. Maybe small to start with, to begin with. But they want to build on things. With the Ace of Cups, they want the new love. There's something, though. For some of you as well, someone is turning... Someone could have gone and started a connection with somebody else. That's possibly being turned back on... Turned, possibly turning the back on that now. And that's what they want to come and tell you. They could have tried like i said there's quite quite a lot of ego i'm feeling some you know could have started something away from you here thinking yeah this is me no it wasn't it's not they turned the back on whatever that was and they want to tell you maybe apologize oh shit yeah apologize about this ten of swords mm. Tell you about this nine of wands, please. What's this nine of wands for Capricorn's energy? The eight of swords, temperance, could be dealing with the Sagittarius and the nine of cups. So they are, even though... So for some of you, you may be thinking like, no, that's not, this. these messages aren't for me. This person, they might not be giving anything away. As far as how, but let me tell you right now, this person is stuck on you big time. If they're not in jail, 
then they are stuck in some kind of mental imprisonment when it comes to you. And they are really, really, really like, it's like you're healing, you're pouring, you know, you're, you're, you're in this energy right now. And I feel like someone's not very happy about it. I mean, not, not happy about it, but I feel like they want to be in that energy with you, but they're not. And you'll know the reason why that is. I mean, there's patience that's needed here. This person, because the Knight of Cups, this is someone coming in delivering a delivering an emotional message. Maybe some of you haven't received something from this person yet because they are they have been stuck in this. What I said, they're going to turn in the back on. They might not have done that yet. This might be future energy. I take it if it resonates. But for some of you that have been waiting a while and needing to have patience with this situation, whatever this is, it's because they're stuck, they're stuck elsewhere. So I feel like some of you are being told to have patience if this is what you want, you know. Even though this could be difficult and tiresome and hard and strenuous and draining, remain patient because they will be coming. They will be coming in. Wow, judgment. Maybe to raise something from the dead. Conflict. Some of you guys could be having conflict at work at the moment. Something going on at work. Mm. Someone could be lying about work. Mm. Tell me about the strength card, please. Yes, you know, this is you having strength, having courage. Okay, the Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. So, there's some possible isolation mode that you need to go into. There's some kind of Hermit mode that you possibly either have already stepped into or you are going to, but it's going to take you a lot of strength to do this. Maybe this is what, if you've got, because going into Hermit mode is not going to be easy for you, right? But I feel like once you do, you're going to get that apology. So, Whatever that could mean to somebody. Thank you. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. The Hangman again. So, there's a lot of divine guidance here, guys. There's a lot of fake destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favour, but I feel like you need to step into the Hermit energy, which is kind of going within, doing some self-reflecting, self introspection. Um, maybe even for some of you, you need to do a little bit of maturing. But this, it's going to take you a lot to do this with the Strength card. But you have to do it, is what I'm saying, in order to view something differently. Like, in order to, you know, the divine's telling you here, guys, in order to view something differently and to follow the path that is for you, you need to do a little bit of this, maybe. And this might be to realise, you know, because some of you here want this person back, I'm not going to lie. So, you know, these messages could go either way. If you're wanting this person back, you're being told to... Hang on a minute, just take a step back, take a moment, breathe, and see the bigger picture. Right? The bigger picture needs to be seen. And I feel like nothing's going to happen until you do that. Like, the wheel of fortune is not going to turn in your favour until there's some kind of... Taking a step back and looking at it properly. Because for some of you as well, you don't want this person back. But you're still very much connected. So, again, you need to take that little step back and view something differently in order for this wheel to turn, in order for this wheel of fortune to turn. There could very well be a karmic cycle here for some of you, and that's what needs to be viewed at. You know, you need to realise this, some of you. This is just a toxic karmic cycle for some, and, you know, someone has to break that, guys, as shit as it is, and... Maybe this is, I feel like you're the one. If, if you are in a toxic cycle with somebody, you're the one that needs to break it, Capricorn, because this other person, this is your advice from spirit. You're the one that needs to break this karmic cycle. And by doing that, you have to do a little bit of going within, step into the hermit energy, isolate, spend some time on your own, um, you know. But yes, I hope that's all made sense. I hope this has resonated for you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, let it, let, um, you know, let it circulate YouTube for me. Um, comment as well, let me know. I love hearing it, I love, love reading them. 
but this is what I have for you guys and now I'm off to work so so sorry about the long wait um but life should start to calm down again now <laughs> but thank you all love you all so much see you all again